Hi everyone, welcome back. Till the previous session, we have seen various concepts in karate framework like, uh, you know, what is karate, how you need to install it, how you need to perform a post operation, how you need to perform a get operation, what are all the karate options we have, uh, how to call one feature file in another feature file, what are all the various assertions. These are the basic things that we have uh, studied in the previous sessions. In continuation with that, what exactly I want to show you out over here is so uh, here, if you can see my screen, I'm just on one of the public APIs, whatever we have, and I'm just using this users API. This is a get response basically. So what I want to do right now is on this response. So I just copied it and I'm using a JSON formatter now. Okay, so to format the data. So here, what exactly I'm trying to do is the data, whatever we are getting in the response is an array of multiple objects. See, it's an array of multiple objects. And here you have multiple sets of data. See here, guys, basically we have a multiple sets of data here. What exactly I want to do right now is, my scenario is, I want to create, okay? I want to create a scenario in which I want to get the data only for a specific name in the response. What does it mean? If in my response, assume that if I have a data with a name as a Surendra, then only capture entire information about that user else don't capture that information okay this is what so here what i want to do basically i want to do a conditional statements basically if conditional statements are here and moreover guys what exactly we need to do here is we guys need to perform a conditional operation precisely on a javascript okay we just need to use a javascript in order to perform this a conditional operation okay good enough so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to create a new program here as I want to perform a get operation, I'm just copying the scenario information from the existing program. And here, my scenario name is verify username information from the response. The URL for this particular one is, this is the API URL. I'm updating that API URA and get and then response perfect we are up to here and give a unique tag name at the rates karate a video demo i just created at the rate a karate video demo that i have created and now i have a specified this then and what we need to do right now we need to do an assertion on a response Okay, we need to do an conditional assertion on that particular response, fine. And moreover, if you observe, there's a data is a array of multiple objects. It means like data of a zero, it will be pointing to this one. Data of one, this will be pointing to this one. Data of two, like that, there are a multiple arrays are there. So I need to use a for loop. In Karate, we have this evaluation option, eval, which will evaluate any kind of expression, whatever we are passing. Okay, so here, what I'm going to do means, and eval what i want to eval for so this is the for loop that i want to eval and i'm defining a variable i is equal to zero and till when i want to rotate this loop in the response 
I have, see here, if you study these JSON formatter, in the response, you have a data and the data is having a multiple values, array of values. I can get using a length. So data dot length. Okay, so rotate this one on all the values in that particular data and I plus plus. Okay, so here you no need to explicitly specify these braces. If what is your condition? Response dot data of I. So I value dynamically it should change. From this data of I, what you are going to capture the name attribute. So data of I dot name. In JavaScript, in order to verify this one, what I'm going to do here is ends with, I'm just using ends with in JavaScript in order to compare a particular text. So here, what I have seen, basically the name is having Tenali and or else Gandhi, something too many names are there. Among all those things, I picked this name, Trutika, okay? And I have a specified in my program. If this condition is a true, then the next statement will be executed. Then only this next statement will be executed. So what I want to do, I want to capture all the information into a variable. In this karate, we will be defining a variable with a def keyword. Def is a keyword which we are using in order to define something. So when def, okay, input or output data, output to data, I'm defining it. But the problem out over here is, Whenever we are considering this data, it's an array of values. It means you have a multiple values out over there. So whatever the variable I'm creating, it should be of an array type. Hence, I am defining this as an array. That's it. I have a defined a variable array. And what is my requirement? Whenever that condition is true, Okay, where is this point? Come back. Whenever this condition is true, this one, right? Yes. Whenever this condition is true, scroll towards end. If this condition is true, into that particular variable, add. What I want to add into that, whatever the response of data, I want to capture their email. See here, email, dot email. I have a captured that particular email. When that condition is true, which is a Dhruvika, capture that Dhruvika email ID and then print. Okay, what I want to do and then print output data. That's it. I just want to print that output data, guys. That's it. Nothing more than that. So here, if you observe, we have seen a couple of new keywords. One is a def, which is going to define a new variable and define of an array. Evaluate is a keyword which is used to evaluate the expression. For is the one which is used to uh, specify the for loop. If is the one which is used to verify the conditional statements. And add is the one which will be adding down that information to that array. This is what my tag name that I have given. And I'm going to my runner class and I'm running my test. That's it, guys. I'm just running my test now. And let us see whether my response and the print should have only the email ID related to Dhruvika. See here, druti at the rate gmail.com. See here, druti at the rate gmail.com. It captured. For suppose, if you want to capture the complete information about the user, you can create a variable for ID. You can create a variable for name. You can create a variable for email, gender, and a status. See here, 
in the program, I have created only one variable to capture the email ID. If you want to capture multiple sets of data, create a multiple variables and write down the information into a multiple variables. Let me show you a simple example. So here, output, this is an email, right? Let me make it as an output email. So wherever we have used an output, just change it to properly with that name. So here, output email and after the email i want to capture what else i can capture i want to capture the gender so here i'm creating a new variable when def output gender is equal to i have a defined a gender also so whenever this condition is true Whenever this condition is true, not only capture the email, comma, output gender dot add. What I want to add from the response for that particular array index dot get that gender. See here, gender. I'm adding that gender too. That's it. We just added the gender. And now here, then print output gender variable so i have added a one more thing that's a gender so if i run my test script whatever the email id for this user so the email id we have is druti at the rate gmail.com and the gender is a female both the things should be printed down in the console Okay, see here we have a two prints. One is this one, which is an email ID. And the second one is a, a gender that got a printed down to the console. This is the way how exactly we can incorporate conditional statements, looping statements into your Kukumbo feature file in Karate framework. Good enough. We'll see you in the next session with another concept, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.